G'day, g'day. Welcome to the winner bracket semi-finals for European Gentlemen up against Catch My Comet. Catch My Comet is going as Axis, Framaz as Finland. Ooh, no room of the beast this time, so substituted for the first time. And Nat Nat as Japan up against a Jutska Soviet and Guerrero USA as the allies. Definitely going to be the ones to watch and the favourites to win this one due to the uh, extremely good allied play. See Jutska with a regular squad, interesting start. I guess it's Tataby expecting a long range and I guess a one flag fight as he's storming right onto the hill but will get ambushed perhaps by Nat now with the SMBs already firing at him. Sandbags are still building, one felled. None of them actually moving in for a grenade. Jutska with one sneaky guy on the right could do something. Let's see what happens with this one. Potentially, oh that's a nice blob. Oh no! Oh, it's MG in there too. Can he escape? No, he's taking out the MG and one guy gets knocked out. So a decent run now. The DP machine gunner from Jutska coming in, but he's already heart and half health. Gonna get grenaded. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna go for the other guys. And he will take all out a lot. That's two. No, nearly. Oh, well, it's four. I think that was four. And looks like Nat Nat has survived at a solid DP machine gunner. Forced to move back on the other end so far. I haven't been able to see this action. Ranger squad from Elite Marksman squad from Grover to Alba. Opening up on this area and he's doing okay just in the open just pinning down all the troops um, Building sandbags from Framaz and has actually won the day. I suppose center is Neglected because of that opening forces you to go in one area and is allowing Framaz to cap that with one single uh, assault squad lead up Partisans from just got reinforcements, but not much to back it up after his full loss of the assault squad. Grenade follow up from that Nat recruit squad as well. Both of them definitely trying to throw numbers into the mix going the lowest tier on the second buy. And Northern Point we have the Ranger squad supplemented now with a few single infantry. It's not too much as another assault squad from Framaz is going to try fill the gaps but they're really getting shot up as they come out. But the Rangers, I guess one of them is in very dire health and could perish but uh, the rest seem to be in good form. Just out shooting them without any cover whatsoever. Oh, what the hell is a shotgunner by? And does not do much and gets taken out quite easily. Shotgunner again from Shota. Let's see if this one can make a better, better go at it with a nice grenade. Boom. Doesn't do much. Hits the sandbag first and... Oh, grenade again. Oh, wow. Shotgun to the face. Another one. And does take it. As the action's happening now. Shotgunner's taking the sandbag. Elite Marksman still perched up on this slight incline. And it's still shooting guys who dare pick out the sandbag. But, ooh! VA-64 made an adventure and has been taken out by the AT rifle of Nat Nat. And Nat Nat has captured engine is damaged though, so it is stuck in position, but it can be used as a nice stationary MG, preventing, preventing any further assaults from the center right, but doesn't have a good shot onto the left side, so that hill's blocking it. So just again, hold below that hill, but is now going into the range of the MG for some reason. As Nat Nat's going to try follow up, follow up with an assault. Just rifles, MGs taking out the recruit squad, partisan squad in the open. 6 3, a decent lead from European gentlemen. Definitely what they need at this stage. But now you can see the spam, the spam tactics of the, uh, the, the, the Catch My N. Coming up with uh, Flamethrower and it crashes! Fantastic! Alright guys, I'll just stay around where I can't see the action for a while, so it won't crash. As for every game casted, there's a game that crashed, so that's pretty much, uh, let's say, 800 casts. Maybe let's say 300 hours of redoing things and crashes, so a bit frustrated on that. Hence the harsh sarcastic, uh, or keep trying to keep positive response of, ah, oh, great. <laughs> uh, so that's one of the reasons as well I haven't been casting at all recently, because there, I think, is a bug with replays where it's not showing what actually happened. Or well, it could be a corrupted replay, but uh, basically none of the replays I casted, which I probably spent a few hours doing, three hours or so trying to cast games, but what happened didn't actually happen in the replay, so it was, wasn't any point. The game, basically the team who won didn't actually win in the replay, which is totally silly, but I have actually proof, uh, proof, uh, watch this, or proof started this replay, and then um, started the replay and came back, checked the scores and it was okay. So this replay seems like it showed the correct thing, that's why, hence, I am casting this. Oh, so I think what happened uh, has happened. The flamethrower somehow did its work and uh, didn't crash because I wasn't seeing it this time. Let's see what happens. 
Shaky Ventry now from Jitska. This will enable the allies to come in and start taking the advantage with the numbers as they so are used to doing. The Tatabi is an map where you may, may struggle due to the uh, narrowness. The width is very narrow. The map is very narrow. Um, width, width wise. And this may enable the axis to hold stronger. 50 cal. Shota coming out with 50 cal. Five minutes in. Quite a risk with the AT rifles around. And here is one right there waiting for it. Kronos. Boom. Right in the face. Explosion. Takes it out directly on the engine. Elite marksman still. Um, still in the position though. Waiting anything to come up. Kronos yet to make any impact. But may potentially go have a breakthrough on this side. And that, that's taking advantage still of the numbers and oh, sorry, of the uh, BA-64 loss and is going to swaltz into Jutska's spawn flag and he's going to take a DP machine gonna, going to say no but oh, a bit, uh, bit of indecision there, a bit scared, now he is scared, Recruit's going to throw a grenade that, that uh, definitely won't be able to get that one off, just get too quick on the mark, he's all alone though, he's forced into prone, waiting for reinforcements which is coming, T-60 I believe and also another shock infantry while well, he's spending those specials, isn't he? And the Partisan is coming up as well. 260. Decaps that flag and Partisan should clean up. I'll try and move to the left. Just get away from that narrow straight where some sort of AT weaponry can take it out. And moving below the hill should be no problems whatsoever to retake that. Shot up. Now making a move onto this point. Got some sandbags with 30 cal squad manned on it. And does have quite a lot of firepower onto the flag, but still going to struggle to get in. Need to really muck a few nicely placed grenades to push up some of these guys. But they, oh, they were actually waltzing straight into the fire with 30 cal. And the elite marksmen, some more infantry. This is just an 80 infantry by shot up. Should do okay, I think, in this very hilly, hilly map. Lots of opportunities to hide behind, pop out, and shoot. Got some white death in the back there by Fremas. Shotgun has knocks out one. And he, oh, it's so close. Oh, AT for Chief. Oh, White Death has escaped that. Uh, doesn't matter, Vizuka wouldn't have hit it anyway, but White Death is fleeing for his life. There's too many, but he's going to take a few shots standing while he uh, escapes. He misses that shot. And now he can cap from the safety of this hill. And White Death doesn't actually have a great shot now because of that uh, decline. Doesn't have a straight shot. Maybe perhaps he can shoot up here, though. But the shot of re relocating. To find better avenues, ambush and is totally ambushing the. Oh wow, elite marksman, marksman Jaeger squad. So expensive, just ant got totally mowed down by 30 cal. 30 cal does perish up from a flank as well. A flank attack with an assault squad on that side. So much is happening, I think it's got that for now. On the right side, we have a chi move from Nat Nat. Let's see, let's try to decon. Uh, to analyze what actually happened. Looks like T60, nothing really happened. I think T60 just evaded the Chini Chini, tried to counter it, but it's stuck on that side. And uh, just because it's playing the very cheeky game of popping out the chute. There's the AT rifle, perhaps can get a nice side shot on this. But nowhere in sight. Chini trying to take a shot, will miss. And I think that uh, will be the name of the game for a while. A bit of baiting and holding. So it's going to hold the center just by that T60. And his center flag, T60 has good range, not being countered. Uh, perhaps an AT rifle from that, an AT grenade or kamikaze sneak from that nat. Going to be wishful thinking right there. And a, what the hell? Sorry guys, I missed that. There's too much happening. But Lily's AT just took out a T50 and shot is pulling out the rape mode right now on Framaz. Just cut. Has a lot of uh, elite troops here. It's a full red guard squad. Going to use this AT weaponry, weaponry to ambush below the hill. Perhaps now the Chinu is in danger. He's going to sneak some guys up. Betty Rafa from that now just waltzes into the SMG. And it's been totally turned around now. Such infantry domination by the Allies. Nat Nat doesn't really have anything uh, protecting this Junior other than a few guys. Even has a recruit squad holding with the DT machine gunner. There's Jutska looking very strong. Also um, shot up looking strong too with a flamethrower. Just below that hill to ambush anyone coming in. Shock infantry, sorry, assault squad in the back. White death totally, totally locked down at spawn. Not being able to do much. Oh, look at that. Shooting over the hill is preventing Fremas to come in. That's 
Oh, that's what he's so painful for Femaz right now. He's feeling powerless to, to do anything. He's even shooting the Panzerfaust and the Soul Squad leader at it. No go is going to stand now and just return the favor. Panzerfaust me, I'll give you a flame to the face. Barbecue. Oh, doesn't get its mark and it gets taken out by the Soul Squad leader. Uh, it's the duel of the flamethrower on Assault Squad Leader. Looks like the Finn, Finn Assault Squad Leader did win that one. Uh, now here's T60. It looks like the Chinu has been felled by possibly a bazooka from... Possibly? Yes, it probably was. There's nothing else that could have taken it out. I'm not sure if it's me. I, I don't think I'm keeping up with the minimap action, to be honest. I just haven't been casting for a long time, so sorry if I miss, miss things. So here is now the T60, King of the Field. A quick response by 47 mil from that Nat. Gonna try, try hold it. So take out the T60. Ooh, it does have a shot. These houses don't protect the T60 much, but for some reason that Nat is not taking the shot. Gonna wait a bit longer, perhaps. Oh, it's a shot. Oh no, because that's a Chi Nu is blocking. Oh, but now perhaps. Oh, now gets behind the Chi Nu again. And we'll try a swing behind that house to stop being killed. And now that Nat is going to be spawn cap. He's definitely seen that. You see the Marines are going to charge out for that. Can the T60 actually decrew it? No, it doesn't matter. The Chinu is also coming out from that Nat and will track that Chinu. So the T60. But dangerously, he's the Marines from Jutsuko. Let's see this player go out. DT machine gun a guy. Going to try and hold as well. Marine with the bazooka. This is the three pointer special. Three pointer special Marines. Uh, that's why it comes with the bazooka. Vasily going to try sneak onto that Chinu, perhaps. Uh, Red Guard Volum still in the background, so not a full weight of the assault from Jutska. But this is quite a quite a bit dangerous right now. Oh, it's been spotted, but it doesn't matter. I can just go get get it, Chin. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Explodes! Oh, that's brilliant! So much infantry, so much power, and. Yeah, just everything. And here, oh, Jutska following up with the half track run over on the mortar. Nat Nat must be fuming. That is a kick in the balls right there. And at the same time, a, f a fist in the ass for Nat Nat. And there it goes for Nat Nat. I guess not many people will be happy about this considering Nat Nat's reputation, but. Uh, Oh yeah, you gotta feel sorry for the, sorry for the guy. What happened right there? That was definitely all. That's definitely a game changer. That is the game, I think, in my opinion. And funny thing, the 47 millimeter, the one in danger, was left alone. Uh, just choosing his targets by, I guess, cost and worthiness. 47 millimeter. Who cares about that little piece shooter? He can be left alive. A little bit of mercy there from that map. As T60 is being repaired right now, but doesn't matter. No more mercy. You can just go with the AT grenade. Oh, no, not to not go too close in case of crash. And boom, takes it out. And the Chi has out the Banzai call. Panzer Shrek. No, no Panzer Shrek's around. Oh, no, here's another one. This is the Red Guard Panzer. Let's have a look how it goes. Uh, no. Boom! Explosion. All on the side. Go on. Switch the targets. It's got so many hit points. No problem. Boom! Tracks it. Oh, trash is again, crash again, yay! Alright guys, I'm not going to sit through another long time recording this all over again, this is stupid. <sighs> Hopefully no more crashes again, so anyway, uh, obviously you can see that Catch My End definitely won that one very easily, and they pretty much took it in a few minutes after this, so good game guys, I'll see you around. Anyway guys, I'm going to, um, just letting you know, I'm going to Korea, South Korea, in a month, so I'll maybe making videos for about a month or so, not like I have been very reg regularly posting. Uh, if you've been there, yeah, let me know what you th what you think and uh, what where you think I should go. That'll be uh, very useful. See you around.